Our video today is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and from Black Friday through Cyber Monday, CardKingdom.com customers will earn 10% back in store credit, and this includes singles, seal product, accessories, and apparel. Terms and conditions apply. Details available at CardKingdom.com. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Peak with me, yours truly, your host, Krim, also known as the Asian Avenger. This week, we're trying an Abzan mid-range deck. Um, this is based off of a list that went 5-0 and uh, by Space Cowboy Batman. Uh, that's a wild name. Uh, I, I saw this, and this list looked like it would be a lot of fun. There's lots of Planeswalkers, a lot of, uh, like, you know, helping out Zendikar, according to, you know, Nissa Voice of Zendikar, and then Gideon, ally of Zendikar. But, yeah, so there's the, there's, it's pretty much an Abzan mid-range-ish kind of tokens build. It's like, yeah, mid-range tokens, it seems, because you have tons of ways of generating tokens through, like, Voice of Resurgence if your opponent decides to cast anything on your turn. Um, and then, of course, you know, we have, like, Tristani, we have Amara, and then with just a simple dinky token from, like, Nissa, once with one minus on Nissa, we can go ahead and immediately start crewing our Smuggler's Copters, and yes, that does mean plants are flying a copter, which, you know, we'll worry about the logistics of that later. And then, of course, we have Thoughtseize and things like that to just strip answers from our opponent's hand, like Supreme Verdict or anything that would be a, a mass sweeper or maybe something that helps them win the game immediately. Uh, out of the sideboard, uh, the person that originally played this list had a ton of ways, uh, a ton of singletons, right? So, and, like, I moved around a few things a little more to my liking. Uh, I think we needed a few more, uh, like, we needed a Noxious Grasp. That's a good card. I do like the Settle the Wreckage. That keeps people honest. I, I, I'm a fan of that. Um, there's just a few spells overall that I think are pretty sweet that I just threw in here. Uh, for, and it, because they've done well for me in other leagues. So the whole deck, though, as you already know, is just all about grinding our opponents out and every little bit of advantage that we can get and then just t running away with it with a smuggler's copter because, you know, maybe Thoughtseize rips the answer. Or, as I had mentioned, with the huge, like, you know, Planeswalker package in Nyssa, uh, Gideon, ally of Zendikar, and then, of course, we even have Soren, Solemn Visitor. So with our three Planeswalkers, that should more than generate enough tokens to go wild. Uh, it kind of makes me wonder if, like, I was contemplating on putting Anointed Possession, but uh, that I, I then ended up not, I opted out of playing that. So, without holding you up any longer, let's see how this deck does in a league. Okay, good start. I'll keep this, alright, once upon a time. Seems common. <clears throat> we don't play any because we don't have a ton of creatures. We have Planeswalkers and stuff like that, so, yeah. Watery Grave. Okay, so it might be Sultai Money Control here. All right, all right. Play Blooming Marsh, pass, just so that we can blow up the Jace. <clears throat> and then if we need to, we go ahead and shock, play Scavenging Ooze. Or I mean, or I mean, we will. Probably will. Yeah, we 100% are. All right, Growth Spiral. Yep. Oh boy, it's about to be sadness. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad for us. Okay. So they seem to be on something with like, what is it? Sultai Field? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Never seen that one. Assassin's Trophy can blow that up, huh? That's pretty cool. I really can't have them uh, getting a ton of value. Ah, darn it. Okay. So, I have to make something happen here. I feel like if I don't do it now, that's going to just become... These are all problems, right? Which one am I trying to play here? I could play another black source. It gives me perfect Abzan mana. I got an Assassin's Trophy that land. Land's a problem. The issue I have with it is that Dread Presence can get a swamp, right? Gets a swamp, and then it, it like, gets more advantage for them. It draws them a card, whatever. Yep. Dealt two damage to anything. Hour of Promise gets them two more lands. So it's Sultai just... Well, that's pretty good, actually. Get an Urborg. That's really good. I've never played against this, so that's good to see. I mean, not that it really matters. Because it all is kind of just the same deck, right? Repackaged. Oh boy, I hope this gets banned real soon. This card. Ugh. Gross. Um, pretty much over. GG's. Like, right? I mean, we, we could play it out. Yeah, we'll just play it out. Why not? All right, I don't know how we beat their zombies into oblivion, but yep, yep. 
as sad as it sounds, I think I might have to actually just... Okay, sure. I can fatal push both of those. Aha! I don't know how we win. Ah. Uh, okay. Swamp. Swamp. I take four. Down to five. I still win here? Probably not. I'm pretty dead. Let's just concede. We'll go to the next one. We'll, we'll try to take the next match. So protection from white and black. So Blood Baron seems good. Ashiok seems decent. Stain the Mind is going to be needed. Legion's End? Maybe? Golgari Queen? I don't know. Maybe Night of Autumn? Like, I didn't see much that required, I don't know, anything, really. We have to be more aggressive than they are. All right, let's try this. Let's see if I can get a better game going. That game one was just uh, pretty pretty much a beating, a hardcore beating. I'll keep. We don't have much to do anyways. We're just going to hope we hit the land here. All right, so they kept seven. Take a look at their hand. It's if they have, yep, there it is. Once upon a time, they're going to fire it off. Puts a swamp into their hand. What do we get to see here? So all fun cards, all fun cards. We'll just grab Growth Spiral and we'll go up the, the chain here. Keep them off their cards and then... Make them abrupt decay on their turn, I guess. That's pretty cool too. All right, I need a land. Once upon a time. All right, go ahead. Once upon a time, mean like no once upon a time means no land for them. It's good for me. Ah, oh, darn it, they found one anyways. Perfect. And now we can start attacking, kinda. Oh, nice. Okay, that's fine. So what do we know about from them? They got that, they got that. They have three Abrupt Decays in hand. And an Hour of Promise. Ah, oh, crud. They're just hitting their land drops naturally here. Yep. Alright, get in there for some combat. And let's see what happens next now, right? Like, I can go ahead and make... The vampire. I'm gonna probably buff the vampire. Wow, they they drew every land. That's unfortunate. So now I guess we deal with the onslaught of zombies, huh? That's a bummer. Five in a row. Uh, that's or I mean three in a row, I guess. But their deck is mostly lands, so I'm not really surprised. But still, no stumbling. That's that was the line I took to hope that they stumbled just a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay. Creatures you control. Alright, so I thought it was just to overall all my creatures, but it turns out it's just the ones on board. When I activated it, it's my fault. They've got three six lands. They need to animate. Yeah, they have enough to animate and go ahead and use Abrupt Decay. Yep. So they can Abrupt Decay. They can kill my Soren. Swing in. Yep, it's fine. Soren down. Can I get there in this turn? I think I can. It's three, four. Nice. And I got there. All right, cool. Take it to the next game. All right, so we saw Assassin's Tro- Or we saw a bunch of Abrupt Decays. That's cool. Uh, we saw that one fun time of a card that is Tracker. Okay. They had a chunk of Abrupt Decays. That's still fine with me. Choose a non-land card. Search target player, graveyard, land. So I can't even name Field the Dead. What am I naming? Would Stain the Mind anyways. I don't know if there's enough. Yeah, I'm probably better off just having a threat. Yeah, I'll just go grab a threat. I feel like that's got to be infinitely better than whatever else I could be doing. Like, Stain the Mind just doesn't do anything against them. Okay. Well, I want an Ashiok and a Fatal Push, but I want lands to cast them. Well, that's a magic hand. And that's the other kind of hand. Okay, well, I guess we'll push a Voice of Resurgence back. Keep the Assassin's Trophy. We might need one, just in case. Plus, on the bright side, if they play Urborg... They fix our mana issues, right? Pass to the opponent. So we're going to go ahead and try to play Copter. See how far that gets us. Like, Copter and Voice of Resurgence is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie to you. Yep. Yep. Oh, jeez. 
They already really ramped up that fast, huh? Wow, that's really good. All right, send in the combat from the copter. Yes, I would like to. Uh, geez, that's a little bit of a pickle, but I'm gonna pitch that one. And now we pass. The reason why I want to keep both assassins trophies is because we can blow up Field of the Dead. Yep, our promise makes sense. They grab any two lands, so like Urborg, hopefully. Okay, they get two triggers out of this. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Yep, there's another one. Jeez, Louise. I don't even know if they really have to do much, right? Well, luckily they got the Urborg. That's the thing that's nice about that. Six damage from the opponent. Escape shift. Wireless tracker. Rejuvenator. All of it's a problem. I mean, yeah. Wireless tracker. So that on the stack. I don't know if I can attack here, but I do need... I don't know if I can block either, right? Like, how long can I just sit here and block for? Take six here. Oh, take six, seven. Yeah, okay. We'll just have to pass. And then after, like, we'll wait until they, like, draw. Or, like, after they draw. So they don't get another zombie out of this. Alright. Let's see it. What do you got? Now they're going to play Rejuvenator, I think. Well, they go Tireless Tracker first, and then they go Rejuvenator. Crew? Darn it. They drew Abrupt Decay. Alright. That's pretty good. Take six. Yeah, okay. That's perfect, too. With exact C uh, on the mana there. Unless they, for some odd reason, whiff here. But that just seems unlikely. Whoa, they actually whiffed? Wild. Huh. I can minus. That doesn't do anything. Gives them a land. Hopefully they didn't draw escape shift. Two, four, six. Six, seven. I'm down to four. If I block here, I take two, four, six. So no matter what, I take six. Yeah, no matter what, I take six. This one I take... Or no, I take seven on this one, but whatever. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, so I'm gonna make a token. Pass back to them. No matter what, I think we lose Soren here, so I may block to where... Like, well, of course, if they just have removal, I'm in trouble, right? Oh, boy. Tireless Tracker's one heck of a card. Yeah. It's another good one. So they crack that. What are they looking for? Anything here, right, I assume? All of it's a bad time. So how much are they sending at my Soren? Wait a minute. That doesn't seem right. If they don't send everything... Then I just double, I block and block, get a, a Voice of Resurgence token. Yeah, there you go. Alright, well I guess I'll block. Sure, go down to two. I get my token. What do they have? Oh, I drew a land. I guess I could still hold out for exactly one more turn potentially. But I, I'm gonna need a little bit of a miracle here. Because they've got another land in hand. If they draw a removal spell, I'm dead. Cycle, yep. Yep, GG's. Alright. Lost the last one, but hopefully we can pick that up here. This seems a little slow, but I think I'm willing to chance it. I think I'm willing to chance it, yeah. So lead with this. No, I won't pay the two. Play Blooming Marsh next turn. This means that I can play Castle Arden Vale on four. Untapped. On three, we'll play Temple Garden. Hopefully we draw one of our creatures. Something like... Uh, Alright. Is it some kind of Nexus deck? Pass to them. They moved whatever that card to the bottom of the library with that scry from the Temple of Mystery. So that's good. Alright deck. Give me a creature. Give me a creature off the top to crew this smuggler's copter. That's all I want. And if we can get double copter going. Like we'll be able to get to that point just from our planeswalkers. Making so many little tokens. But we need it to happen this turn. This turn, please. Okay. If it's Amara, that's even better. Well, it wasn't. So, unfortunate. Just play another one. Pass. 
if it resolves, of course. And then next turn, yeah, we'll just go Gideon. Gideon makes a 2-2. Two, two. Or I can go ahead and make... Play Soren. Play Soren, make a 2-2. Two, two. Doesn't sound bad at all. All right, so it's some kind of probably feel the dead uh, shenanigans. Whoa! Whoa! What is that? I mean, really cool. All right. They just Lotus Field us in Pioneer? Heck yeah. All right, let's see what this is. I'm concerned, but let's check it out. Now they're ahead on mana randomly? Wow, that's really good. I mean, well, they I guess they were ahead no matter what, right? As long as they resolved. I mean, yeah, if they, if they played their Spiral, they would have already been the same amount of lands. Yeah, makes sense. So now we're going to finally catch up. <laughs> wow, they still have three mana here. Oh, boy. Hidden strings, you may tap or untap target permanent. Then you may tap or untap another target permanent. Oh, no. Okay, so they're about to ramp up a ton of mana. Okay. When? Okay, and then tap another. So they net one mana. Stra strategic plan. Am I? Is this like Twiddle Storm, but in... Pi I am in a Pioneer, right? Like, this isn't modern? Yeah, okay, hold on. I had to double check. I was like, am I getting Twiddle Stormed? Okay. It's like Nexus of Fate or something, right? Okay, I'm just, I'm just, play Gideon, make a 2-2, two -two, crew my copter, begin combat, start attacking. Sure. Throw away the land. I don't know, I guess. Oh boy. Why do I feel like I, I might not take a turn again? Because if they get Field of Ruin, or not Field of Ruin, uh, what are they doing? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. And, I, and this is so cool. Oh, this is sick. So then next turn we get in there for nine, dig through time. Okay. Lotus field, strategic plan. So I've, I've just seen the same card over and over. Okay. I feel like they're about to set up for some kind of super sweet combo. Maybe they just play the other Lotus field they have in hand and then they pitch the two eight lands they have now. That'd be, that'd be cool, right? That's a power move. I think. I don't, <laughs> I'm just like not sure what they're doing and I, and I'm kind of scared. Now, keeping the Temple Garden would have meant that I could have played Soren and Thought Seized. So maybe that's a possibility. I'd love to do Soren, uh, go Soren Thought Seized right now. Oh, Lord, that's a lot of mana. Oh, wow. That's six mana. Okay. Yeah. No, you got it. That's casual. Huh. Huh. All right. Let's take a look at their hand. Pour over the pages, draw three, tap two lands, then discard a card, something scrying. Okay. I don't know which one I want to discard more. All of it seems like a problem. So I can go ahead and rip the expansion explosion. Maybe it's double cast? No, double cast is at sorcery speed, sure. I can actually just rip both of those, huh? Yeah, let's just rip both of them. Um, no, I don't want to loot. We'll just kill them next turn. Like, we'll leave them on the two cards they've got in hand. Double cast plus, like, Sylvan Scrying or something like that. Oh, no, do they still draw one anyways? What does double cast do for them? They're looking to sculpt something ridiculous. So, Sylvan Scrying is something they can get two copies of, get two lands. Does that matter? Not really sure. Was double cast the right one, the doubling effect? Let them draw three, untap two lands. No, because then they get to seriously get a ridiculous amount of mana, right? Because pour over the pages, draw three cards, untap up to two lands, then discard a card. Yeah, that, I, there's no way that leaving them with pour over the pages is correct. So, okay, that's fine. They can, they can copy and opt. That, that's the least of my worries. And then this upcoming turn, we're just going to play Soren, make the 2-2, two -two, crew. Uh, that means a knight and a vampire are going to get onto a little helicopter, a little copter, and then Gideon is going to accompany them for 11 damage total. All right, so they put bottom on top of their library, and then bottom's the other. Okay. Oh! Okay, so it's a cycling deck. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's super cool. Cycle, untap target permanent. So they're just going to try to spin through their deck or something like that? Like, what is it? What's that six mana enchantment makes, like, cycling cost nothing? They must be playing that. All right. I don't really know what to do here. I mean, I can try to mill them. That doesn't seem great, but it's something. Stain the mine? I don't know. Maybe? Uh, rest in peace. Cuts off their digs. Ashiok? I don't know. Maybe they might try to tutor for something. I feel like these are things that I should bring in. Kaya. Kaya eats their graveyard. I don't know if that's good enough. Okay. Cool. I guess they do have that, that little blue dude that... 
that cycles if they play that, but we can kill that. Okay, so we need to take out one card. Is Stain the Mind good here? I don't even know if I want this here, actually. I feel like Stain the Mind is only, is only cool because of the Convoke thing, but like I don't really like it here. They are a combo deck. Vizier of Tumbling Sands, that's got to be part of the combo of something, right? That's got to be a part of something. I'm, I'm going to just keep that in there. All right. Scavenging Ooze is a clock. Ashiok is not. I guess Ogari Queen isn't that great. I'd rather have Knight of Autumn. Sure. All right. Well, that was very interesting. I have no idea what our opponent's trying to do. I think it's a cycling deck. I'll keep this. We have Thoughtseize, Copter, and a creature to play it into. Yeah, I'm on board. Now, we just got to draw lands from here. Just give me lands. We have double Thoughtseize. Beautiful. Okay. Hopefully we draw another land and it's green. Pour over the pages. Vizier. We'll just take the Vizier. Mechanical Sanctum. We're going to get Copter on board now. Because then next turn, if we need to, what, they play Lotus Field? That's fine. Strategic Planning? Well, I guess that gives me more things to look at. Might have to take a turn off here, just to Thought Seize them again. You know, gotta keep them honest. I don't know what they're trying to go off with here, but... I sense some nonsense, and I'm not a fan. Okay. Lotus Field. Check. What's cool, though, is, like, Lotus Field makes it so, like, Botanical Sanctum comes into play untapped and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. I don't know what they're doing, but I don't trust it. Let's take a look at their hand. Draw three cards, untap two. I guess we'll just get rid of that and then pass. Next turn, we can go ahead and just play Gideon, make a 2-2. Two, two. I mean, hopefully they don't counter it. Begin combat. Yes. Oh, Soren's good here. All right. I haven't seen anything that warrants me blowing up their stuff. I guess throw away the other Gideon. Sure. Then we play Soren. Soren makes a zombie or a flyer. And then the turn after, we just go for their face. We keep them locked on the Lotus Field thing because they have to find another land. And then after they find that land, they got to sack two. And then they can start playing stuff. Unless, of course, it's a good one. Like an untapped land for them would be pretty bad for us. Now... Yeah, we won't worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and play Soren, make a 2-2, swing in, get this clock going mighty fast and quick. Because Vizier is going to just make it so they can untap their stuff. That's annoying. I don't want that. Ah. Okay, they found a land. That's really good, actually. Holy cow. That's really good. All right. They have two pour over the pages here. That could be pretty major. Yes, I'd like to use that ability. Throw away a land. Sure. And then next turn, we can just emblem. Okay, here's the concern. Yep. So do they go infinite now? Or they, they net one mana. They net man, a one mana. That's the good news. Or that's the bad news. Right, because that costs five. They untap. They discard a card. Sure, they probably pitch a land. Same thing again, right? What do they draw in these cards is what matters. All right, so now they've cycled yet again. That's another land. So now they're at seven mana, potentially eight coming up. Dig through. Oh, that's really bad for us. Yeah, they just cast a dig through time. We might, we might be dead here to like one big expansion explosion or something like that. What weird twiddle storm is this? Yep. Oh, no, not this again. Okay. So they have three mana. Niv miss it. Untap probably with hidden strings again. Yep. You got it. They draw a card. They untap. That's another that's a total of seven mana now. This is pretty cool, actually. Yep. Like I guess I could have plus Soren to gain a ton of life back. Okay. Yep. So I okay, so now we, we see how they win. I guess we can name Niv Mizzet. That's one of their win conditions. Because it seems like the Vizier isn't a problem. They have many ways to just get around that. So it looks like it's Niv Mizzet is their best way to win this game. They draw three cards. I'm down to nine. I'm just going to F6 my way through this. Should have done that a little bit sooner. They have eight mana. Growth Spiral. Sure. Down to seven. Shock. Right? 
That's three, six, seven mana. Yet again. Yup. 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 Might just be dead here. I'm pretty sure we're dead. They cycle with the, the Vizier. There you go. I'm now at three. And pour over the pages. Very nice. Okay. I see what's going on here. All right. Very nice. Yeah. I think we still run it back the way we did. Maybe it could have changed a little bit if we hadn't gone so low, but I wasn't expecting that. So I'm not going to lie to you. I've never played against this deck. It's like not even on my radar of things that I need to like focus on. So, well, that is really cool though. I do like it. Now I know what we need. I guess we could play a Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle named Vizier. Like yeah, Pithing Needle would have named Vizier, which means they couldn't cycle, I don't think. And Scavenge, like I need to just make sure they don't have the ability to dig through time. So that's why I like the idea of not giving them a graveyard with like rest in peace and stuff like that. That was interesting. I was really not expecting that. Had I done Soren's plus there, I could have gained a lot of life. But I guess at that point, they have no issues drawing through their whole deck, right? And do it quite well. I can't Assassin's Trophy their land either. All right, taking the play. Uh, boy. Yeah, sure, I'll keep it. We just need green sources. Like, if we can hit a green source, this will be great for us. Go so Godless Shrine tapped. Turn two, Smuggler's Copter. Turn three, Scavenging Ooze. Or, I guess, Knight of Autumn if need be, but, like, just one of those. And then turn after, we can go ahead and play Ashiok to just keep hitting their yard. Well, okay. Looks like we won. Keep. Just kidding. <laughs> We're not gonna blind keep. <laughs> or are we? All right, I'll keep this. It's, uh, this folds to removal, but, you know... Such is the life. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. Go right into Blooming Marsh. Windmill Slam Copter. Uh-oh. <laughs> Crud. They're an aggro deck. <laughs> that means they could deal with us. Easily. I mean, they're a red deck, specifically. Uh... Sure. Hmm. How much can I actually afford to take? Right, like... So I'm going to take one damage this turn. Next turn, I can play Temple Garden tapped. Oh boy, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a huge problem. Okay, you got it. I could go Castle. Castle allows me to Thought Seize my opponent, which seems pretty important right now. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go for the Castle line. Kindling Fiend. Oh, wow. Wow. They are much bigger than I... Th oh, wow. Um... Well, I guess it's that. Like, Rekindling Phoenix is pretty nasty. Wow. Uh, yeah, they have the mana for everything, too. No way. What a, what a, that's a really good curve. One, two, three, four, five, plus all the lands they need to go up to that. Wow, that's really good. Uh, I guess, I mean, what does this do? Does it even do anything? It's like, my concern, like, what does this actually do? I do like having something that can block next turn for, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just take the damage here. Let's just take the damage, go down to 13. Yep, there's Chain Whirler. Oh, another Scrap Heap, all right. Whew, that's just all action from the opponent right now. Amazing. Um, think about this. I can blow something up. I can attack with Copter. I probably should have just attacked the turn before. And then now I have to leave up mana. Can't block. Yeah, sure, here you go. I'll just I'll just block next turn. Or uh, can I take six? I don't think I can take six. Take six, go down to seven. That's pretty scary. Go down to seven. Seems like a bad time. I could play Nissa next turn. Uh, whatever. I think I'm I'm so far behind right now, I just gotta take the six. I just gotta take the six. I'm so far behind. Yep. <sighs> Alright. Here we go, I guess. Block, block. I take four this turn. And then Rami Nap Room should finish me off. Crap. It's pretty, pretty terrifying. Yeah, we just didn't keep up with them. We didn't have any removal. We've got our four spells, and that's about it. Maybe looting was a little bit better, but... And now where do they go, right? They can go swing at me. I think that's the line. You swing everything at me. I'm going to have to blow up Glorybringer, which now gives my opponent access to popping their Bowmat Courier. Ugh. We just don't play enough uh, big creatures here. 
So we need, like, our Voice of Resurgences are pretty nice, but this Rakdos mid-range is just really good against us, but I think here, this makes me, uh, yeah, we gotta kill that. Black, all right, there you go. Yes, they got a land out of it, so how do I block this where I'm not completely obliterated? Okay, I guess, sure. Let's go to blocks. And then now I'm gonna have to try to use the looter scooter, see if I could find anything, that'd be pretty nice. Oh boy, take four, die next turn to Raminap Ruins, unless I find something that gains me a ton of life. Does Sorn do that? Sorn won't gain me a ton of life, but it does make it so I go up a little bit more so I don't die to Raminap Ruins. Do I even want to let them know I play Sorin? Hey, Lil Uzi is pretty good. Lil Uzi's pretty good. Alright, Lil Uzi's actually real nice here. Now, I can put another body on board, which is nice, or I can minus right now, ensure that this grows past. I think here. Make another token, I can make another blocker. Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and do that. All right. Go ahead and eat the scrap heap sc uh, scrounger, check. Rekindling Phoenix is relevant because at some point they could randomly bring something back. They, like if they, if I kill their thing, they can bring it back from the yard. I don't want to. Hopefully they don't have a glory bringer. Glory bringer closes it though. This allows me to potentially just chump, chump, play Soren after this. They are going to draw a lot of cards, though. Like, they're drawing a lot of cards right now. And it's probably just a bunch of spells. Sure, down to two. Ramanap Ruins finishes the job. GG's. That's pretty good. Turn after, we're going to follow it up with a Soren. Scrap Heap Scrounger, I guess. Legion's End is good. Blood Baron is definitely coming in. Kaya's Wrath is... I mean, Kaya herself is also pretty good. All right. Copter, Copter can go out. Thought Seize, Thought Seize. Not the greatest. I want to fight for everything on board. Maybe I keep a few Copters in, actually, and take out the Thought Seizes. All right. Let's see it. I mean, we do have Settle the Wreckage. Maybe we should have brought Settle the Wreckage in also. That's a good one against our opponent. I'll keep this. Sure. Yeah, like, we pretty much become Abzan Control in this matchup. Nope. Pass. Okay. We were we were pretty lucky to have even lived that long. I mean, we... we, we Clearly got like because they were just drawing lands. That's because all their spells were underneath their Bowmat Courier. Uh, all right, Soul Scar Mage is good against us. That's a problem. Where's my Fatal Push? Is at? We need to get Fatal Push right now. All right, Smuggler's Copter, sure. And so it continues. The Copter beats. All right, you got it. You got it. I don't want that. Huh. Alright, I guess we just pass. Again. We need the scavenging news to gain all of the life. And like, we want to use it on a turn where we can actually grow it. And then how do I beat the opponent? I gotta go Soren, make a 2-2, which then makes it so they have to make another another body on board, but they've got things like Spell Queller, or not Spell Queller, Glory Bringer, all those cards. Like, they've got a lot. Maybe Thoughtseize could have stayed in. Because Thoughtseize is nice on the play, ripping all their stuff from their hand. But it feels bad late game. I don't want discard, I want answers. So I guess that makes sense. It's fine. Scrap Heap, you got it. You got it. I actually have to blow up the Copter. It, it feels bad. It feels real bad because they're going to get a land out of it. I'll make them use removal or something. Sure. You got it. Send it upstairs at me. That means I get my token, which means they aren't using it on my other stuff, like Soren. Alright. There's another creature. Now we pass back to them. Hopefully they don't have, like, Glorybringer. Glorybringer's pretty, pretty much a beating and a half here. I don't know how many Glorybringers they play either. It looks like it's the Rakdos mid-range deck from Kaladesh Standard. It's got a few upgrades, obviously. Now, can I resolve? Can I keep all my stuff? I'm going to block in the event they have Chain Whirler. Phoenix. 
That's a problem. Huh. That. Eat that. Hmm. What do I want to do now? I can go ahead and plus leave it back or make another vampire that also flies. No. All right, so we just sit back and hang out. Okay. Hopefully they don't have, once again, Glory Ringer, because that card wrecks us a lot. If they attack with Phoenix, we block. Snap block. Unlicensed Disintegration. You got it. So we gained a lot of life out of this. Can I remove that? No. Come on. Um. All right, we have a lot of lands. We kind of just did nothing in this matchup, unfortunately. We needed that Scavenging Ooze to come through for us. I mean, sure, here you go. That's another three life for me. You get more tokens, sure, why not? I need to find my, my board wipe. Oh boy. Yep. I think we're dead, no matter how we do this. We're very dead. Yeah. Too many lands. Uh, this could have... Wh okay, what would this have been instead of Pithing Needle? Like, Rekindling Phoenix is a problem. Check. I'm not even going to block, I don't think. There's no reason to block. Sure. That's really good against me. Okay, so... Settle the Wreckage. This could have been Settle the Wreckage that we talked about. Uh, they'd be super dead if this was Settle the Wreckage. Yeah, this would have been such a blood if that were Settle the Wreckage, but it wasn't, so... <sighs> Just playing Planeswalkers until I, what, draw Board Wipe? But is that good enough? I don't think so. Pass. Okay. So, I think I need to find... Like, the Sweepers won't do it because Rekindling Phoenix comes back. And it's only a matter of time until they draw something better. Sure. It's only a matter of time until they draw something better. I'm not blocking any of these. Okay. F6 my way through it. You got it. Sad as it sounds, I think I have to, actually. What can I do? I can minus? No, I need to draw a card. <sighs> Alright. That's a problem. Alright, Soul Scar Mage, sure. Block there. Block here. So Vraska takes five. All right. How do I get out of this? I would have to draw Kaya's Wrath plus Legion's End. Those are the only ways I win. Undo. We'll make this a black mana. Plus. That's part of it. Okay, what does that do for me? I can go ahead, make a vampire. All right, so vampire has been made. Yeah, I have to just try to draw for a a board wipe. It has to be Kaya's Wrath. So I got to hit my Kaya's Wrath, my singleton Kaya's Wrath, sweep the board, and that's the only way I get back in it. Luckily, these Planeswalkers have been gaining me a lot of life in that my opponents have been swinging into them. So heck yeah, we have two of each land. Hopefully they don't have Thought Seize, because we got to draw it before they hit a Thought Seize. What are they holding on to? Yuck! Yeah, I, I did make a mistake in not bringing in the, the Settle the Wreckage. That's, pro that's such a good card in this matchup, considering that they have things like, like Scrap Heap Scrounger, Phoenixes, all these things. They could all get settled. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we... What is this? Okay, you got it. That's a problem, too. I guess if they attack, I just block it, right? Forces them to sack it before they get way too much value. I'm not blocking any of these other stuff. These other things. Those are going into Soren. Those are going into Vraska. Also going into Vraska. Uh, what else? Oh, I guess Blood Baron. 
Blood Baron can gain us a ton of life back. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then they, but then unlicensed, no, unlicensed disintegration doesn't work on it. Oh boy. Okay. I guess that's something else that we could do. We could drop Blood Baron. That should get us out of this spot. So I guess I'll go ahead and leave the Soul Scar Mages on the board. This way, if I need to, I can go ahead and just Legions end the Soul Scar Mages. Yep. Hopefully it's a land. That's all I can like ask for that is just a land. My Planeswalkers are going to eat it, no matter what. They gained me so much life, though. All right, Kaya's Wrath. Oh, Gideon. I just leave up. No, I'm going to make another body. Just going to continue to do this. <sighs> Alright, they're cycling. That's not good for us. It's only a matter of time until they hit that removal spell. Yep. Cool. Alright, here we go. Just take that damage. Whatever. That's a way to generate blockers. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're currently taking eight from the opponent. I guess we're no longer on the line of, right? Because that's four, eight. I can make a blocker, blocker. I can remove both of these soul scar mages. But then that, no, like I gotta, I gotta get lucky here. I gotta play to my outs. Play to my outs. I hope that I draw Kaya's Wrath, sweep the board. Oh boy. And then we're down to four after this. Of course we also have to hope that they don't have a burn spell to just send at the token I target. But, whatever. Where was this Legion's End earlier? Ugh. Blood Baron still doesn't work because it won't have flying. I don't have enough life for it. And now, now Blood Baron doesn't save us, so it's only a, 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 a board wipe. Oh, the tension. Come on, deck! Give me something good. I've drawn so many lands back to back. Oh, this week's league is starting off a little weaker than others, but still pretty cool. I'm glad I always try a bunch of different decks, so... Of course, if I were to play another event, I'd probably just play Grixis Midrange. That deck is so much fun. Are we... I, how, wait, hold on. Why would you... No, no, no. There's no way they'd be timing me out. Oh my gosh, another Gideon. GG's. GG's. Okay. Let's take a look at their hand, see what they had. We're dead. Okay, a land, concede, call it a day. We are still able to have a positive win rate here, uh, even if we are mulling immediately. Here we go. I believe this is a good hand. This is a good hand. Put back a copter. All right, so let's see here. We, we're not on the draw. Can't play that. Like, I guess the only thing I would have liked to have done is maybe shock to potentially fatal push whatever they play. Yep. If this is a mana dork, probably gotta blow it up. But I feel like it's a feel of the dead deck. Yeah. Gotta blow up the elf. Pass. And now what can I do here? What's their next play? Ah. Oh. All right, well, good thing we at least kind of slowed that down. So I need to find removal. That's what's got to happen. I got to find removal, so I got to loot or scooter away a ton of stuff. Uh. <sighs> okay, so they're going to make... They're going to probably play the 5-5. Five five. Oh, jeez. Okay, so they just dumped their whole hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right on time, of course. Yep. Going to have to crew this. Begin combat, attack, yes. Unfortunately, I need that. Because by pitching out the way the copter, I now, I get to have a green source. Green source means I get to play Nissa. Nissa means I get to potentially block for a little bit. Was it like Steel Leaf Champion or something like that? Yorvo? Ah, okay. The other card that you just showed me earlier. It's still a beating and a half though. Ooh. Their own copter. Very nice. Alright. Hey, I think they've got their bases covered here. Because we don't have any more removal. We pushed the first elf. Which slightly slowed him down. Uh, we need the green, don't we? We need the green. That's so weird to me. 
If I let them untap, they're gonna like probably like stubborn denial us, right? Ah, uh, they're gonna just stubborn denial us. That's gonna be a problem. If I plus, they're just gonna send. If I play Nissa and plus, everything just goes in at our Nissa. This isn't a great spot to be in. We're pretty far behind. All right. Ugh. I just gotta blow up one of these the beasts. The beasts are, are just becoming massive beaters right now, and I, I can't handle that damage. Not when I'm at 12. Huh. This deck feels like it's just perfectly too slow in this meta. Everything feels so much faster. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Yep. Okay. And they pump. You go to combat, sure you got it. So that's how much damage. That's everything probably in at me. I don't even know if I have a board wipe in the main. I don't believe I do. Okay, block. I don't even know if I want to loot. I think I do. They're about to just pump everything on their board. Eh, yeah. Let that go. Blow this up. Right, like I, I, don't, I don't have much else I can do. I mean, I gotta get rid of those cards. Those cards are super... Oh boy, another copter. Yep. GG's. Huh. Yeah, maybe this deck's just too slow for the format. That noxious grasp. Legion's End, Kaya's Wrath, Settle the Wreckage, Anguished Unmaking. Thoughtseize, decent, but not that great. Go ahead and get rid of those. I don't know how good Nissa is in this matchup. Voice of Resurgence is like half decent. Fatal Push is like what we need all the time. Lily's a bit expensive. Maybe I want Lifelink Protection from White and from Black. Not great. I think your Anguished and Making does give us a removal spell, which we desperately need. Knight of Autumn blows up a, a Copter, which is important. Lily gives us a body, but Lily is six mana. Copter to block Copter. Maybe it's Thoughtseize. Once again, like Thoughtseize, though good. We just need something to actually like stay to answer the board. I don't know if any of our stuff does that. I guess like one Copter is fine. We take out one Copter. Keep a few Thoughtseizes in. All right, I'll keep this. We have an answer to their copter. We have an answer to an early elf. We'll start off with Sun Petal Grove. This is not a bad hand. All right, now we pass to the opponent. Come on, deck. Let's see if we can push it back. Get it to game three. This way we can go three and two in total. That'd be pretty nice. Three and two still nets us play points. Yep, 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 yep. I gotta blow this up or else they start doing some silly things. We've seen what they can do. With that deck, when it go when it like has a few mana dorks, if they have like a land like a mana dork loaded hand and a bunch of threats, it's just GGs for us. So we have to make sure we stop the turn one elf. It's just so good against us. Cool. So keep that off the board. This upcoming turn, we can now go ahead and play our copter or maybe our own Nissa. Come on, deck. Oh, Spell Pierce. All right. Well, I, di I didn't play around Spell Pierce, but I did, however, try to play around other things. Like, I tried to play around Stubborn Denial because I assumed there was some amount of those. Uh, seeing as how they didn't play anything, I thought they might have had Stubborn Denials. Something along those lines. They shock. That's Questing Beast. Yep, there's Questing Beast. You got it. We're going to have to take four. Pretty good. All right, so now we've answered the questing beast. That card's super annoying. Let's go ahead and get in there with some combat. All right, so it's an even game currently. Even game. We're both at 14. Ronus is a terrifying card to see as it is indestructible. I think that is uh, Stubborn Denial. Yep. Okay, so they did have it. Nope. I don't want to... I want to keep this card. That's a little brutal. They have that plus the Stubborn Denial, but... <sighs> Should I play around another Spell Pierce? What are the odds they have another Spell Pierce, right? If, if it's Stubborn Denial, that's a hard counter. Yeah, whatever. Fine. There you go. Okay, so if it's Stubborn Denial, I don't feel as bad. Mm, they're out of cards. They swing. They can pump. They tap this down. 
that's a total of eight plus the any they draw anything we're in super we're super dead but i think we've got to just go for it we've got to go for it we got to try to find fatal push or something like that and we got to try to make it so they block so now they can crew they can pump punch in for seven which puts us down to seven sure that's pretty good so now they can crew copter right check they pump copter that's five that's ten yeah all right fatal push here we go please or something i don't know how we can actually beat this seems like uh their deck's just more aggressive so i i have to attack i had to find an answer i had to do something i can't just sit well there's fatal push a little late but there nonetheless Hmm. I have to sit back. Whichever one, they could easily just go and pump whichever one, right? And then and then I'm dead. All right. So they're crewing. Oh no, they're playing Love Struck Beast. This is much worse. All right. Yep. Uh. Yep. All right. Cool. That's not good. What can I do here. Ooh, that's six damage in. Like, I, I have to actually do this, I think. There's no way around this. I have to do it. Miserable. All right. What do they have to... There's nothing they can draw here. They're, they're dead. Uh, I'm dead no matter what. Yeah, I gotta go down to one and then what, right? Like... <laughs> All right, there you go. GG's. Oh, keep. All right, two and three. Come on, give me a two and three. That's what I'm looking for, just a two and three. Okay. You know what doesn't help with two and three? Not having the right mana, but okay. Interesting. We'll go ahead and just try to, what, play Smuggler's Copter or something like that. Oh, no. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's so good. Them eating their own, uh, their own thing right there just made it so my scavenging ooze doesn't do as much work. That's pretty rough. Booming Marsh. Play a Copter. I'm gonna just play this as a blocker. That was a good, that, that was a, a good, uh, use there of the Mardu Woe Reaper. May not have been intentional, but it was really good, so. Yep. Legion's End is coming in against this deck. We don't have many sweepers. Sure. Oh, I could have blocked here. I mean, do what I even blocked? Would I have even wanted to? Probably not, right? Oh boy. Nope. We'll pass. So now I can play Copter. Copter blocks. Maybe loots me into something like a... Some kind of uh, way around all this. And Brave the Elements won't work here. So that feels good. But Knowledge Marshal does not feel good, however. So I guess I have to block... Or another word enters the battlefield under your control. You may exile target creature from your graveyard if you do gain one life. Okay, sure. Resolves. All right, so we crew here. Block. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll just throw away Voice of Resurgence. This gets me another creature in the yard. Mm. What do I do here? Creature in the yard, which grows us up to a 3-3. Three, three. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? By shock, that allows me to block two bodies, but that's not good enough, I don't think. I could eat two things, go back up to six, and then I still take a ton of damage. I think I'm dead no matter how I do this. Yeah, no matter how I do this, I'm dead. Sure. Yeah, no matter how I do this, I'm dead. The only way is if they don't have another way to pump, right? So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna throw something in front of the the 4-3 or whatever, and the 3-3. Three, three. So I'm gonna just chump block the Mardu Woe Reaper. And then try to block... Yep, there you go. GG's. Man, we have had a... Like, the, the deck is... It seems like it just stucks. It, it, it's stuck in between, like, way too slow. And, like, just not fast enough at all. For a lot of the things I'm trying to do. Unfortunate. These are cards I want in. Things that I want out. Thought seize, thought seize, thought seize, thought seize. Copter, Nissa, Gideon, too many Gideons. I think that's good enough. Let's try that. I'll take the play. 
None of these are board wipes. None of these do enough yet. I mean, we have to live to turn five. Seems unlikely, but we'll try. Okay, whatever. We'll run it. A little bit slower, but we do have a ton of action in our hands, so I do like that. Sun Petal Grove means that we get to actually use Abrupt Decay immediately whenever we need to, of course. Their hand's loaded with a bunch of one drops, so I'd be amazed if they didn't play a turn uh, a one drop here. Yep, yep. The one that has protection from multicolored, if they play that, that's that's super brutal. Sure. Just play Concealed Courtyard after. I want I want to save the Assassin's Trophy and the uh, Abrupt Decay. Sure. You got it. All right. Okay, deck. Let's see what we've got here. Do we have another... If we had green source, that'd be pretty good. We do not. ETB trigger on the stack. If they get a land, that means that that ability won't happen, so it's all the same. Sure. Land. Dang it. Did not draw the land that we were looking for. Alright, we'll have to pass back. Hopefully we uh, hit that land soon here. We really need that land. Because we're going to need it so that this way we can go ahead and play Gideon uh, and start making bodies. But it seems like we might be a little too late now. Oh, wow. Super punished they have a Gideon before we do. And they have the Castle Arden Veil. Okay. Yeah, it's over. This one's GG's. We can't win from here. Stuck on lands, unfortunately. Wow. That was, uh, that was an underwhelming last match. It's unfortunate. I mean, like, maybe I don't care about the land. Maybe I should have kept it. I, w I was super punished because I... Wait, hold on. They probably should have just kept that Gideon. But I guess an emblem works too. I don't know. Just preserve my health total here, I guess. Oh, that's so nasty. I just got to hope I hit a land here. Come on, deck. Give me a land. Thank you. Oh, boy. Like, I I'm probably not even going to, uh, like, block with Smuggler's Copter. I'm probably just going to block with the Knight Ally. Sure. Yup. Another 2-3. That's pretty good. I need a Gideon Emblem. Oh, boy. Does that grow this, too? That does. Yeah, he's a human soldier. Wow. That's so good. Okay. No board wipe means we're super dead. Yeah, so I'm gonna- I actually will now just crew up my, uh, Smuggler's Copter and block something. Just to gain the, like, the card draw here, because I need it more than ever. Eh, sure. Gideon down. I can't save Gideon. I can't save Gideon. If I don't find a board wipe, I'm dead. Well. Doesn't look good for us. Okay. I'll probably just loot Nissa away. Oh boy. So they're what? They're going to... Yeah, Banalish Marshal. You got it. Your your army is huge. I can't I can't beat these creatures. Gideon is like what? Seven? Eight? Yeah, Gideon's an eight. Wait, what just happened? Oh, Gideon just emblemed one more time. Okay, I see. That means I take 11, so I'm dead either way, no matter how I do this. Draw a board wipe, I'm dead. Useless. Oh wait, this is protection from white? That's pretty good. I didn't even know that. Doesn't matter. Can I survive the backswing here? Probably not. Eight a zero one plant. Hit Gideon. Yeah, I'm dead either way, no matter how I spin this. I'm still dead. There's two Gideon emblems. I block the seven, the six. I'm still taking a bajillion damage, yeah. Ugh. Man, this deck went one and four. Kind of rough, kind of rough. Sure. Yes, you can grow your threats even more. We didn't draw our sweepers at all. Uh, we don't have enough sweepers, I think. Unfortunately, that league ended at 1-4. and four. But you know what? Every now and then, we got to get a 1-4 and four, uh, or, or an 0-5. Oh 
just to just to see how how it plays, you know. Maybe maybe I I kept some hands that weren't ideal, or maybe I just you know I like the luck of the draw, the bad matchups. I don't know. I mean, so far the deck, though, in like on paper, it looks like it'd be pretty sweet. Gideon, Copter, Nissa, like Thoughtseize, all these powerful cards, but oddly, it just felt too slow. Uh, to like to be aggressive to take down like you know like a field deck or anything like that or it, it just it just was not able it was too slow and not able to keep up with like the mono white deck uh, and it wasn't fast enough to close out you know what I mean like like a ton of the matchups so uh, maybe 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 that just means the list needs a little bit of tuning or something like that but overall the deck just felt like so like voice of resurgence was always just a two mana two two. Uh, that could just crew something. Uh, maybe it, like even scavenging ooze had some more upside there. Uh, we didn't have enough control elements to truly lock out the red deck. Uh, but you know, like once again, first time playing through the deck, so maybe I just had to. Maybe I have to tweak it a little bit, or maybe change some things. But overall, the deck just felt very, very medium at best. So I don't know. Uh, hopefully, you know, next week we'll try a different deck. Uh, I think I want to try Mardu Mentor with, you know, uh, Young Pyromancer, all that stuff, because that's a deck that I really like. Uh, I, I, I just want to play with Monastery Mentor and make that work. Monastery Mentor, Coligan's Command, these all seem like powerful cards. My concern is just how do we beat Field the Dead, but tune in next week and find out if we can or can't. Other than that, as always, I do appreciate you all coming back and hanging out with me, even through the rough leagues, the good leagues, all of them. Thank you so much for coming back and enjoying my content, and thank you for uh, supporting all the content here on mtggoldfish.com and as always if you'd like to support us some more feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up on that it's your friendly neighborhood asian avenger signing out i'll see you at the next one thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here